Okay, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the uh, NASCAR Cup race today at the Daytona Road Course. And, you know, as I mentioned in the previous um, discussions about this course, it's, you know, it's a very long course, it's a very difficult course, and you really don't want to identify dominators. I mean, there are very few laps led to be had, uh, and very few laps in general. So, what you're looking for today is going to be um, place differential and win and not win percentage and finishing position. Um, and obviously, finishing position does correlate some sense with uh, with place differential. So you do want guys that can move up in the field um, and guys that can win the race. Boy, sounds great. Um, and it would be great if you could find guys that are low owned also. Unfortunately. My, my, I looked and I tried, but the chalk is very, very difficult to get off of in this race. It just is. I'm going to tell you my approach to this and, you know, uh, you guys do what you want, but there are just a lot of real standout type plays, which are very, very difficult to think. Um, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to try to get off the chalk a little bit and, you know, See, see what can see what I can do. It's it's a very difficult race to to play GPPs in, and and you might think that's kind of intuitive. Like, well, it's so easy. Why is it a difficult slate? That's just the way it is with GPPs. Like, the easier it is to make lineups, probably the worse slate it is, just because everybody's doing the same thing, and it's just so hard to 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 be different and so hard to to capitalize on that EV of you know trying to get that top score. Um, but I, I will go over when I like. I'll go over the plays and maybe you guys can come up with something better. You know, maybe you can take some of the um, higher owned guys that I like and put some low owned guys in that you like, or take some of the lower owned guys that I kind of talk about and place. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's the way I was always able to win was to take other people's advice where I could and, you know, filter in some of my own takes. And that's usually, it's usually the way people win in general. So, uh, let, let's talk about this. Let's talk about some of the, some of the, I guess, the, the, the easy plays. Um, um, let me just pause for just one second. Sorry about that. So all see these guys at the front with no dominator points available are really, really difficult. So, you know, Hamlin, Harvick, Truex, Bush, Logano, Elliott, uh, Amarillo, Kirk Bush. These guys are going to be really tough. Um, and some of them are going to be owned. So what I'm going to probably do is pick one of these guys in each lineup. I'm not going to play more than one. And I'll just tell you my favorites. I think I don't uh, – Kyle Bush, I think this could be an interesting track for him just because he has so much experience. Uh, Truex, same thing. Harvick, maybe, maybe I'll throw him in that mix of just guys that I'll just play one of. Hamlin, I'm not going to play. I don't think I'm going to play Logano. I'm not going to play Kurt Busch. I'm not going to play Alec Amarola. These guys are just too too close. Matt Benedetto is interesting. I might play him. Um, hope he'll probably be the lowest owned of all these top ten guys. So I'll play him. But the real value is going to come from all these place differential plays. So before I forget, I mean, well, uh, let's talk about some of these guys. They're, these are the ones that are in this lineup. I'm not saying I'm necessarily playing this, but. So Ryan Blaney from the 24 hole is just very, very difficult to me. I mean, it's just so much place differential upside and a top driver, um, you know, and he's just fine on the road course. He's not that he's terrible, not that he's specifically good, but he's good enough in the 24 hole. It's very, very difficult to paint something like that. And likewise, someone's not in the lineup, uh, Brad Kozlowski from the 17 hole. I mean, he's always there. He's always going to be, he's going to make, he's going to be in the top 10, you know, could be top five. So from the 17 hole, he's going to be chalky, but he's, it's tough to fade him too. Probably the chalkiest guy on the whole slate is going to be Alex, Alex Bowman. I mean, he's 27 um, at only 8,200. I mean, look, now all these guys have, have a lot of have a lot, have a lot of uh, rec equity, right? I mean, it's always very possible, but just with respect to car, driver, price, place differential, and all that stuff, I mean – Bowman's really, I mean, it's a tough play to, to overcome or to fade, but, you know, anything that happens is auto racing. 
Uh, other guys I put in here, Eric Jones from the 20 hole, again, at only 9,000. Really, really strong play. These other guys I put in, Nemechek and Busher, these are the lower of owned of this lineup, I presume. Um, and again, you know, uh, like Busher from the 21 is certainly not as good as Blaney from the 24, but he's half the price, right? So he's fine. Uh, Nemechek is, is fine. Um, and let's go through the list of people that I didn't play. Um, oh, Chase Elliott, he's going to be one of the guys, by the way, of that top group. I'm going to play Chase Elliott, Truex, Bush, and Harvick, probably. Those are the four guys. Um, Clint Boyer, he's right, so he's someone you could fade if you want because the, 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 the draw with him is that he's a really just kind of an expert uh, road racer. Um, in, in normally I would say, okay, I'll, I'll bite. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But if he's going to be that chalky as a result, maybe that would be the fade of all this chalk. That could be the idea. Um, but moving on, Cole Custer from the 26. He's fine. Again, if he can be, maybe, maybe he's the low owned guy. Maybe put him in. Brandon Gogan from the 39 hole. I mean, he's another good play. Chalky again. Reddick, no. Bell, I don't think. I don't think. McDowell, I'm, all right. He's not going to be that chalky, but he's fine. But nothing special. Again, I, it's just not a really good race to, to play GPPs. Uh, no, no Kenseth, no Stenhouse. I'm not a Newman guy. I guess he's fine. Uh, Grala, don't play him. He's um, on the 10 hole, but he's been moved all the way to the back. So he's only getting place differential points from the 10. Um, and yet he started from like the 40, so whatever. LaJoy's a decent option, 5,900. So he's a guy you could throw in there. So maybe that's what I'll do. So I don't think I want to play Priest. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll make my lineups with a little Priest, a little LaJoy. Um, what other, maybe Custer, the Benedetto. So those are guys you could play who are low owned. But aside from that, I mean, these guys in here, like Blaine, specifically Blaney, Bowman, even Eric Jones, I think is kind of tough to, fit. I wouldn't say tough to pay, but I think Blaney and Bowman are kind of, kind of lockish, if that makes any sense. And Kozlowski is really, really not far behind. So, um, you know, I hate to be all negative about it. I, I'm only going to play – I'm going to play 20 lineups just for fun. i um, not going to play the big one. I'm not going to play anything like that just because I just think it's – some of these plays are too obvious. I don't think I have any leverage on the field at all. I don't think I have any edge. So, if you can come up with something better, great. But, once again, tough to fade Blaney, tough to fade Bowman, tough to fade Kozlowski, I believe. And then, yeah, okay, you want to build lineups? Take one of these. Take either Elliott, Truex, Kyle Busch, or Harvick in every lineup. Just take one of them. Um, maybe one of them wins the race and gets those dominator points, even though there are not that many of them. Um, and maybe that's the way you play. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to – that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to build lineups with one – I have 20 lineups. So I'll have four with, four with him, four with him, four with – actually, five with Elliott. So this won't be the lineup. I'm going to have somebody from the front. So I'm going to have one with true five, five with true, four with actually we'll do, we'll do 20 of them, four with none of them like this, four with true X, five with Bush, four with Harvick. I don't want Logano. I don't want Hamlin. So maybe just these four. Yeah. So four Harvick's, four Bushes, four true X's, four Elliot's, and four with none. And, uh, Make sure that you filter in these LaJoys, which is not the best play, but at least it's low owned to Benedetto. He could, he could, so that's, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. He's going to be the other guy that I'm going to put in the top 10. So it's going to be the Benedetto. So De Benedetto, Truex, Bush, Harvick, and Elliott. So, one of those is going to be in every lineup. And maybe I'll do four more. So I'll play 24 lineups and with, with, with something like this, with none of them in it. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's going to be a fun race. 
Um, you know, you don't see people, you're not going to see cars screaming around the track. You're going to see a lot of positioning, a lot of, maybe a lot of wrecks. So it'll be fun. Uh, that's it. Hope you guys have a good Sunday and um, let's get it.